So we before we order any food, you know, we 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 always um, order the food that is you know very appetizing in the menu. Mm. Yeah. So this is this is where my job comes in. Okay, we have to make the the food which is very visually appetizing for us for for people to order the food. Yeah, yeah. So what does what does visually uh, appetizing mean? I mean, is it about colors, the vibrant colors? Is it about the texture that the photo needs to also bring across to the the viewer? Well, in fact, um, photo photography is actually very subjective. Yeah. Some people may like it, some people may not like it. Some people say that it looks good enough, some people say that it's not, it doesn't look good enough. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So to be visually uh, appetizing, mm. you know, we have been constantly battling with, with our clients. You know? Sometimes our client says uh, it's, it's not good enough, so sometimes we have to make it even better than what it is. Yeah. So better is subjective. It's very subjective. Whether it looks too oily or it looks too dry, things mm. like that. Too oily is is not in in our in our vocabulary. Our, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me about the vocabulary that food photographers like you have. Okay, it's about concept. Concept. Yeah, colors, compositions. Yeah. So when people look at it, you know, this is the one that I'm gonna order. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, just last night I was having dinner at a restaurant, uh, which we featured recently on our program. Um, and uh, I was looking at the menu, and we were a bit undecided with some of the dishes that we would like to order. And then when we came to the bit where they had photos of that item that we were considering, I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that one looks good. Let's go with that one. So I think that photo actually made me uh, decide on which particular dish to zoom in on and shortly. Yes, yes. It's so, like the angel and the devil, you see. Yeah. So that was really <laughs> important for me. Well, um, just like how models have to put on makeup and, and you know, costumes, I'm sure you do stuff to the food to make it look good. Um, would you be able to share some of your insider secrets? Oh, oh! when we talk about it, then I, I don't think you want to order the food anymore. <laughs> because for, for visual purposes, right, we starve a lot of, a lot of like, like tissue, you know, like, like toothpicks, satay sticks below the food. You know, and some other stuff, oil, food colorings, and all to make it look really shining, to make it look really glossy. So it's actually a real dish that comes out of a kitchen, but you really, you know, uh, enhance if you like that particular dish to look the way the the client would like it to look. Um, sometimes yes and no. It depends on what is the dish itself. For example, ice cream, right? Mm. Uh, we don't use the real ice cream. We use a fake ice cream. Sometimes it can be like a mashed potatoes. We add food colorings, okay? We can even uh, use ingredients like butter, icing sugar, and corn syrup and mix it together and become a real ice cream. 